there was an incredibly sad and heartbreaking story that I heard on the news many, many years ago of a San Diego man who was driving home from work just like he did every other weekday. But unfortunately, this day was very, very different. And that's because when he was driving home and he was getting closer to his neighborhood, he heard sirens and he became very concerned. And as he got closer and closer to his neighborhood, he saw smoke billowing and his heart it dropped. And I want you to try to put yourself in his position. And as he turned onto his street, he saw police cars and ambulances and fire trucks everywhere. And as he came closer and closer to his house, finally he made it as close as he could. He looked up and his house was engulfed in flames. And his family was still inside. And the end result was his two children and his wife and his mother-in-law all died. Now just try to imagine being him. Obviously we can't do that unless you've lost somebody very close to you, tragically. But try to imagine, try to capture just a sliver of the immense sorrow that he must have had at that moment. His family killed, his house burned down. Now, listen to this. Hadith of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. He said, the person that misses the Asr prayer, it's as if they lost their family and all their wealth. SubhanAllah. How can we, after hearing this Hadith, ever miss another Salah again? We should at least make the intention and the resolve to try to pray our far prayers if we're not doing it already. Because of the immense reward that we lose for not praying that prayer. And perhaps the tremendous amount of punishments that will come to us for deliberately missing that prayer. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, he said the first thing that will be inquired, that you will be held to account for on the day of judgment, is your salah. If it is sound, you will be successful. And if it is lacking in any way, you will be doomed. In another hadith, the prophet, peace be upon him, he said that if someone leaves off the prayer, meaning they don't pray, they are a disbeliever. And then finally, in Surah 74, I have 42 and 43, a conversation is conveyed to us is documented of the people in paradise who looked down on the people of hell and asked them, what caused you to be in hell? And they responded, we were not of those who prayed.